but maybe you have an intuitive plan, an overview that guides you in the correct direction, even though you just think two steps ahead or three steps ahead? I guess most of the time you have some sort of ideal situation that you want, some, some sort of uh, dream that you want to, to obtain from that per particular position. Um, so, um, but no, most of the time, I mean, I very, very rarely have any long-term plans at all. It's all short-term, all short-term uh, thinking mostly, because uh, as I said, your opponent's going to prevent your plans anyway, so you have to constantly reevaluate um, the, the situation. And uh, that's one of the, the things that set apart the best players from the um, from the, the the second best is that um, is the ability to adjust to new situations all the time. Like there are a limited that the, there's a basically an unlimited amount of possibilities in chess, but there is a limited amount of patterns. And all the good players they can find the best um, the the best ideas most of the time. They can find um, the, uh, the right plans because they've studied these patterns over thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. But um, often there, there are some nuance, nuances of the plan that makes this work uh, once and, and not work another time. But um, So it becomes more, um, more of a tactical battle whether you can actually make those plans uh, work um, and so when you see a game in which it seems that one uh, of very strong players which it, in which it seems that uh, uh, one player made a very uh, actually a very crude uh, positional strategical mistake it's usually a case of a, um, a tactical mistake